logy, you say? Yes, Millie seems extremely logy. Hmm. And how long would you say she's been like this? About a week. Has she ever been logy before? Not that I recall. Mm -hmm. And what exactly does logy mean? Low energy. Haven't you ever heard of logy before? Is it an abbreviation or something? Doesn't save much time. Forget logy. She's tired. Okay? All right. Well, I'll get right on this. I'll have her back to her zippy self in no time. Hold on. Not too zippy. Millie's zip is a bit much for most people. Ham bone, ham bone. Everybody loves a ham bone. No, they don't. So, peppy? Two notches below peppy. Ebullient. All right. I'll call Millie and get right on this. Why don't you just talk to her now? Hmm. Huh. Well, that'll save me some minutes on my cell plan. I've never seen you this low energy before. I'm fine. You're drooling on my desk. Well, pardon me, your highness. Maybe you should just put little stickers on all the stuff you don't want me to drool on. Let's just say everything is a no drool thing. So why do you think you're so wogey? Wogey? Joyce's word. Oh, I don't know. I just feel a little flaw, you know, if we're making up words, a little splaw. Are you eating properly? Sure. I had three bowls of chocolate pops for breakfast and a whole box of toaster tots with jam. Well, those are fortified with riboflavin, so they should. Uh, how often do you exercise? I can't exercise when I feel this twaggle. Well, there's the problem. You see, exercising gets the heart racing and the blood pumping. Exercise is energizing. Oh, I don't know. If that were true, I'd never be tired. I own every piece of exercise equipment there is. Where'd you get all this stuff? Infomercials, mostly. I got this one at a store. It's called the Infomercial Warehouse. What time is it in Australia? Not sure, but I think it's yesterday. They were supposed to call me at 3 p.m. tomorrow, which would be today, right? I'm not good with geography. Plus, I stopped listening. Oh, tallow number seven. This stuff's expensive. If you say so. Must be nice drifting through life, not caring how much anything cost. Well, I don't know any other kind of life, so I couldn't compare. But yeah, this is better. Is that Talo 10? Seven. Oh, squirt me. You really should get, uh, get 10. It, it revitalizes collagen to retain elasticity, as well as giving you great UV protection. Or, even better, the uh, Medina Compound Cream. It's a full body lotion with a super high aloe count. Later, ladies. Oh, now that one is awesome. It's called the Gut Sploder. It literally blasts your fat away. Literally? Literally. Check it out. I don't hear anything. That's because it's at such a high frequency that humans can't hear it. That's how you know it's working. That science seems a little iffy. Huh. Well, it's been documented and tested by the medical community. What's, what's wrong? You're convulsing. That's because I'm wearing the electrosizer. It makes your muscles contract. So you're working out without even trying. Ah, jeez. This stuff is all junk. Don't you have an actual gym in your building? Ugh, that dungeon. It reeks of sweaty old sweat socks and people sweat and corn. Well, then you're going to have to invest in some quality exercise equipment. It is an investment that will pay dividends that your body can then cash in the future at the Bank of Good Health. My point being, th these trinkets are not going to cut it. Oh, be careful of that one. It's a nipple pincher. This is the, the third lunch in a row that we've eaten in your office. I know. I got a lot of work to do, so if you want to meet with me, it's got to be during lunch. I'm just saying that maybe it'd be nice to go out sometime. Oh, crap. Oh, oh. Mm. No, don't don't rub it in. You'll just make it worse. Here, you just you just you want to you want to just just, uh, just dab it. And finally, my detergent pen. What? Detergent pen. You, know, you can keep this one. I have others. I don't doubt it. 
You got some lipstick in your little purse there? Uh, no, but I have some, some cherry lip balm if you... Wait, what do you mean purse? Oh, you know what? Forget I said anything. Everything is fine. Fine and dandy. Oh, there it is. Dandy? Really? I'm all man, lady. Sure. So how's your salad? It's very refreshing. Thank you. Ooh, someone's happy. Why so smiley? Oh, I was just able to turn Millie completely around on something. Like on a merry-go-round? How does that help? No, not around like round and round around. I convinced her to invest in some quality exercise equipment. She doesn't need to spend any money on equipment. You can get a perfectly good workout using just your body. Well, I think you're being a little naive. I mean, I don't use any workout equipment. I'm in terrible shape. If so, ergo. Could you pass the butter? You can walk, jog, stretch, do squats, push-ups, sit-ups, yoga. I mean, that's all I do. And check out these pipes. Uh-oh, gun shows in town. That's right. And you've got a backstage pass. <clears throat> Well, this is terrific. You think you could uh, maybe help set up a workout program for Millie? Hmm, I'd be happy to. Terrific. We'll have her up and humming like a well-oiled machine. Still waiting on the butter. Bye. Why is it that the cooler is always empty whenever I want a drink? Crystal, give me a hand here. You can't be serious. Oh, yeah. Your condition? That's right. I have a bad back. Whoa, whoa, please. This looks like a job for a man. You know any? I know plenty, and you're looking at him, so just back it up. Give a guy some room here. Okay, here we go. Deep breath, and <clears throat> how much do you think this thing weighs, roughly? Can't be much. It's just water. Look, you don't have to prove yourself. We can get one of the boys in the office to do it. No, 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 no. This boy is going to do it, and not because you've insulted my masculinity, because I can roll with that, because I'm secure in my manliness. Now, who's got a pair of gloves? Jeez. Just because it's wet. That's all. Hey, Millie. Great news. I realized you don't need to buy any equipment. You didn't realize that I did. Through a discussion with me. The point is... Hey, Doc! Anna! Check out my new epileptic machine. It's elliptical and... Wow! Yeah, I dropped a lot of cash, but you're right. Five minutes on that thing, and I'm sweating like a bag of cheese in the sun. Well, this is good, I guess. No pain, no burn, as they say. And I got my energy back. Oh, and I can work. Well, I'm working out. Ooh, maybe best not to multi those two tasks. Oh, you should look at my new ball chair. I can strengthen my core while I'm sitting at my desk. What? Probably takes a bit of practice. Well, I guess a few pieces of equipment isn't a bad thing. Okay, this is a bad thing. Hit three for me. Oh, I got you. Oh, hey, buddy, do me a favor. Let me be your assistant or apprentice or whatever. You want to help me? No can do, pal. Local 591 frowns on these in the slice. Nice enough. There's 20 in it for you if you play along. Um, so yeah, what you got here is a busted elevator. Oh, hey, Joyce. Just uh, working hard. Helping out my pal Floyd. Really? Uh, yeah. I'm Floyd. He's helping me out. Hey there, helper buddy. How about getting me a Phillips? A uh, screwdriver? Yeah. Here you go. Handle first. They can be dangerous. You learn that the hard way when you've been working with them enough. It's not a Phillips. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it's a Craftsman. Um, what brand were you looking for? Forget it. Keep your 20 bucks. 20 bucks? I don't know what your, uh... Oh, hey, here's a... A Stanley? Will that work? I'll leave you to it, Butch. Look, I don't want to be Mr. Johnny Judge a lot, but this is a lot, don't you think? Like maybe too much even? Well, why have one machine when you can have 11? It's better. 11 times better, if I've done my math correctly. But, but everything's all crammed in here. How are you going to live? Anna, tell her about the stretching and the squat-ups and everything. This machine is incredible. <gasps> Look. A spinning machine, too. That isn't helping at all. Look, pr promise me you're not going to buy any more workout equipment, okay? Promise. All right, I promise. Oh, 
Is a tanning bed considered workout equipment? Hey, I just got some good news. Really? At least I think it's good news. The guy on the phone seemed really upbeat about it, but it's kind of hard to tell with his accent. What accent? He said, tell Joyce Australia ago. Fantastic. I have been waiting for this. It is time to celebrate. Let's have a drink. I'm not drinking. Oh, right, right. You're not drinking because... I'm on painkillers. My back, remember? Right. How's it hanging? Pardon me? Sorry, it's a guy greeting. Quick question. I play rugby. That's not a question. Here's the question. Is that manly enough for you? Okay, look. You're a man, all right? The manliest man in the history of all men. Now, are we done? You're just trying to get rid of me. That's right. A real man would take the hint. So if you'll excuse me, I just got some fantastic news, and I have some celebrating to do. With scotch and a cigar? So I always celebrate. Sure, if your wife just had a baby. Or if your horse won the Kentucky Derby. See you later, big fella. Come on, push! Harder! Oh, that girl. Nice one. Good set. Good set. Whew. Wow. You're pretty intense. You know, it's way more fun working out with someone else. And safer, too. If I was going to bench press 800 pounds and it dropped on my throat, you could pull it off me. That would kill you, whether I was here or not. Oh, well, it's so much more fun. Okay, let's toss the medicine ball around. Coming at you. Oh. How much medicine is in that thing? I should get going. I can't feel my arms. You have to go. Working out alone is Yarnsville. I can come back later. Okay? Okay. See ya. Oh, hey. Do you think you could lift 800 pounds? Hey, Crystal. This is a, a silly question, but um, you don't think I'm too... Manish? Uh, if that is the first thing you go to? Well, the second. You probably don't want to hear the first. I am as ladylike as anyone. Really? Which one of us had to leave early on Friday to catch an FUC fight? It's UFC. Hi, Joyce. Uh, just reporting back like you wanted. Uh, Stan, when you look at me, you're thinking all woman, right? Um, Millie has more energy now. Oh, good. So everything's back to normal. Yeah, as normal as things get with Millie. You sound like you're hiding something. Do I? I give that impression sometimes, I think, to be honest. I'm told. That's something I need to work on, on myself. But one thing at a time, so I'm off. Okay, bye. Okay, Joyce seemed pretty happy that you were working out. Also, I think she was hitting on me. So, explain. Explain what? It's more fun working out with other people. So I invited one or two of the other tenants over. And we're got out somehow. Somehow. You probably put up a poster. I did no such thing. Are you tired of working out in a sweaty corn dungeon? Well, then come to Millie's home gym. Did you use your bullhorn? Can't remember. This doesn't sit right with me. Why not? You're always telling me to expand my circle of friends and work on my social skills. Bobby, way to burn those glutes. Nothing more social than a smack on the glutes. Woo! Thanks, Barb. Hit the stair climber. These people are taking advantage of your generousness. Oh, I don't think so. You got any more towels? Fresh out of the dryer. Ugh. Good workout. Blast your delts, shred your pecs, strafe your jibs. What's a jib? I don't know. I'm new here. Okay, whoa. Sorry I'm late. I was sick this morning. Must have been something I... Good morning. <laughs> you look so pretty. So do you. This is weird. What's happening, ladies? And this is weirder. Crystal, I'm just test driving a truck. You want to go for a spin? On your way to NASCAR, Buford? Huh, you should talk. Just come back from picking pansies, Daisy. Speaking of pansies... Crystal, did you know that Joyce is part man? So is Taylor. No need to argue. You're both right. 
Okay, so maybe there's some merit to you improving your social what have you's, but uh, how are you going to live in here? I mean, you can't, you know, there's no room for you that you're going to stub your toe. I guarantee that. I'm going to be fine. I don't mind sharing my space with others. Mikase Sue. Hey, get the hell out of my fridge. Who are all these people? And why is there a waiting list for all the equipment? Well, you shouldn't be on a waiting list. You're a founding member. This is your idea? No. What idea? Don't worry about it. I'll get you into yoga class. I got a bit of pull around here. Hey, Joe, put Anna's name down for a class. Sorry. It's pretty booked up. That's my book. Crystal, can you cancel my appointment with Joyce for next week? I'm going hunting. Oh, that's good, because I was going to cancel anyway and bake cookies. I'd give you some, Taylor, but they'd probably end up on your thighs. You know, she changed the transmission in her car. I replaced the spark plugs. It's a small job, and I don't think you could have handled it with your delicate hands. Cinderfella? Fancy boy. All right, enough. You two are acting like idiots. I have girlfriends who ride dirt bikes and guy friends who wear eyeliner. Nobody cares. Stop trying to hide who you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I had some bad sushi and I have to throw up again. You know, opening up a gym in my home has got to be the stupidest idea you've ever had. Did I ever... Uh, all my idea was for you to stop giving yourself shock therapy with the crappy TV gizmos. At no point did I say, open up a gym in your home. Well, you didn't tell me not to open up a gym. I didn't tell you not to get a pet polar bear, either. Do not get a pet polar bear. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. The important thing is, is that you find a solution. Yes? Hi, I'm Stan Durko. I, uh, we met once before. I work with Millie Upton, your next-door neighbor. Get to the point. Hey. Hey. Crystal made some good points out there. Yeah, I, I think we we're both being kind of silly. Anyway, I felt bad, so I went out and got you something. That is very sweet. I got something for you as well. I had Crystal pick something up. Typical male. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a gift certificate to a spa. And you got me a... Oh, it's a seven-in-one tool so you can fix stuff. Oh, huh. <clears throat> Were you born in a laundromat? <clears throat> oh, great, Lewis. Oh, great, Lewis. No, uh, it's Lewis. Our condo strata council guy is here to shut us down. Well, go ahead, you heartless corporate stick in the mud. No offense. You nasty soul sucking shrew. I really appreciate this. Shut us down, you fun sucking weasel. Actually, there's nothing in the strata rules about fitness equipment in your condo. So, enjoy. Uh, uh, now what? Just politely tell these people they have to leave. I can't do that. I'd be like the nerd at a house party. They're my friends. Hey, Mary, you're out of protein powder. See? That one almost knew my name, Doc. I can't do this. We have to think of something else. I'm gonna hit the showers. <laughs> okay, that's it. Everybody, hit the bricks. Take your hairy freeloading glutes out of my house. And by the way, some of you smell like corn, and you know who you are. So I guess you're off then. Yeah. It's just, you know, for a while. Take a break, think about things, maybe backpack through Europe. Huh. It'll be good. I know it will. I bought you a gift. <laughs> Tallow number 10. Thank you. 
I didn't get you anything. I bought myself something nice. The receipt's on your desk. Oh. You know if you need anything, anything at all, I'm here. I know. You're still gonna keep the equipment, right? I can still come around and work out with you. Yeah, I'm straight. I'm never gonna give this equipment up. Come and spot me on the bench. Oh, French frigate! My toe! I told her that would happen. Get this stuff out of here! And when all the other Grumpaloos saw how many fun and fancy toys Missy Grumpaloo had, they suddenly wanted to be her friends. Missy let them play because sharing is good. But soon, none of the Grumpaloos would share Missy's own toys with her. So, she pelted them with stinky cobs of rotten corn until they ran away and left her alone. Because being a putz and a pushover isn't really Missy's style. Jabelle Coffee. Taylor and I are going to go oh. do some... Whoa, whoa. What are you two whispering about? Football. Ninja Turtles. Millie Moonlight. Hi, I'm Mama Dia. No, you're not. No, geez, you're getting me frazzled. And someone's out of line. Maybe you could life coach me. Well, boy. And all new hiccups on a new day and time. Next Sunday at 8.30 on CTV. Watch more full episodes online at ctv.ca.